downtown Kansas City could look a lot different over the next 10 years. Two big projects are under discussion. A possible downtown baseball stadium and a park over I-670. I'm Lauren Halifax. And I'm John Holt. Team coverage ahead of the two issues tonight. Monica Castro covering the South Loop Park announcement. But we begin with Fox Force Jonathan Ketz live to talk about the Royals and Chiefs plans for new stadiums over the next decade. Jonathan, both on the stage at the Downtown Council's annual luncheon today. Yeah, John, they had a lot of interesting things to say, but there is no doubt that the Royals want to move away from here. The Truman Sports Complex and Kauffman Stadium by year 2031 as the team's COO, Brooke Sherman, spoke as part of the sports panel today. Sherman says baseball belongs downtown and it could be a benefit to the entire community. When you look around the country at cities that have um, put a downtown stadium in, invested in a downtown stadium. We have experience in Cleveland. That was great. We got to see that up close and personal. And when you look at, you know, even St. Louis with Ballpark Village, San Diego, Houston, when you look at those cities and you see what they've done, there's not a single one of them that regrets putting that stadium downtown. The Royals lease ends at Kaufman in January of 2031, and so does the lease for the Chiefs at Arrowhead. Chiefs President Mark Donovan was one of the panelists at Friday's luncheon too, and mentioned the Royals. Big supporter of what they're doing, not just because it frees up more options for us at Arrowhead, because I think it's the right thing to do. <laughs> Donovan says the team has to look at whether or not it makes sense to build new, and where does it make sense to build new as well. Last month, he said the team had considered stadium options in Kansas before when they were pitched them by developers. Whatever we do, whatever we decide to do, it's our job and our responsibility to make sure that we're making the best decision for those entities for the next 50 years. So the perspective I want to give everybody is take a breath. We've got a lot of work to do, and, and we're going to do our very best to do the very best for all of us. That's how I put it. Okay, so the question that was not answered today was how exactly would uh, these two new stadiums potentially be paid for? We know that the three eighth cent of a dollar sales tax expires in 2031 when these leases end here. Previously, the owner of the Royals, John Sherman, has said that in his new stadium plans, he would want a public private partnership. How much of that money would be public? How much of that money would be private, though? Still not known right now. John. As Mark Donovan said, John, a lot of work to be done. Jonathan Ketz live at the sports complex. 